In Singapore, China-U.S. relations were key focus on the last day of a major security conference, the Shangri-La Dialogue. The head of the Chinese delegation, Defense Minister Wei Fenghe, addressed the meeting on Sunday, reaffirming Beijing's stance on a range of issues, including Taiwan. CGTN's Miri Lo in Singapore has this report. Chinese State Councillor and National Minister for Defense General Wei Fenghe minced no words as he delivered his plenary speech on the last day of the Shangri-La Dialogue. The defense chief gave out one of the sternest warnings yet on Taiwan. We will resolutely crush any attempt to pursue Taiwan independence. If anyone dares to separate Taiwan from China, we will not hesitate to fight. We will fight at all costs. We will fight to the very end. No one should ever underestimate the resolve and ability of the Chinese armed forces to safeguard its territorial integrity. General Wei's statements were a direct rebuttal of allegations made by U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin on Saturday. Secretary Austin had accused Beijing of having a coercive and aggressive approach to its territorial claims. We witnessed a steady increase in provocative and destabilizing military activity near Taiwan. General Wei also hit back at efforts led by Washington to unite nations under regional security groupings such as AUKUS and the Quad, which he said were aimed to contain China and reflected a Cold War mentality. To us, the strategy is an attempt to build an exclusive small group in the name of a free and open Indo-Pacific to hijack countries in our region and target one specific country. It is a strategy to create conflict, confrontation, to contain and encircle others. Apart from the public engagement, General Wei Fenghe met his counterparts from Singapore, Republic of Korea, the United States, Japan and Australia on the sidelines of the 2022 Shangri-La Dialogue. Amongst these, the bilateral meetings with the United States and Australia were held for the first time in three years. Meru Lu, CGTN, Singapore.